Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I am going to review about Google Jamboard versus Zoom whiteboard. So guys, for teaching online, we need whiteboards and both of these apps are amazing with different tools options. So I am going to review these tools. So let's start with the Google Jamboard first. So guys, Google Jamboard gives you the handwriting to text option. So you can see over here. I select this option and then here you can start giving your lecture okay start lecture and then it will convert it into the uh, text so you can see over here and then you can also change the size okay you can change its position as well so this is the first thing that Google Jamboard is providing but zoom a whiteboard don't have this kind of option so the next tool that I'm going to talk about is the uh, shape tool so in in, uh, Google Jamboard the shape tool is really dynamic so for example if I try this shape you can see over here and then I also have the option of changing its size okay uh, changing its position okay and even if I want to delete I can delete I can duplicate it as well so guys in a zoom whiteboard it is also giving me the shape tool option for example like here but it is only limited to these three options so for example I select this uh, like a box a shape so you can see over here I can draw it but there is no option uh, for me to change its position or change its size so this is the difference so the next tool is called auto draw animation tool so I just select it so what this tool will do is for example if I want to uh, draw some book okay but my handwriting is not good so uh, Google Jamboard will give me suggestions down so you can see over here it is giving me suggestion do you mean so it is giving me different suggestion so for example uh, it is also giving me the book suggestion you can see over here so I just select it and then it will uh, come over here so this is really really useful in zoom whiteboard there is no such option the next tool is really important it is related to inserting image from Google to your Jamboard so simply just select this plus icon and then you see an option over here it says images just select it and here you can search for anything that you want to give your lecture about for example I want to give lecture about heart anatomy and I want to use some image from the Google so just uh, write it and then press enter and then it will open the uh, Google image options for you so you can see over here it is showing you all the option you can select any image okay so you can see over here for example uh, you like some image for example I like this image and I want to insert in the Jamboard I simply drag it okay and then I simply insert it into the uh, my Jamboard okay so you can see over here and then if I want I can also change its position I can make it bigger even I can edit it okay I can rotate it as well so this is really really cool but in a zoom whiteboard uh, there is no such option available okay the next tool is the sticky note tool so you can uh, insert sticky notes and then you can give uh, instruction to your students what you want uh, them to do in the Jamboard okay and uh, then uh, you can also select any part of the Jamboard and you can insert into another page okay so from here you can change the page and then you can use uh, this option and then you can also uh, drag the pages into the next position as well the next option is uh, if you want to make a PDF uh, copy of your uh, Jamboard you can also do it simply just go these three dots and then you can see the option over here it says a share jam as PDF so you can simply share your uh, Jamboard as a PDF file and so this is for the Jamboard now let's move to the zoom whiteboard so in a zoom whiteboard the very first important thing is it is a part of the zoom so it is very simple to use as well so the pen tool in the zoom white uh, 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 board it is uh, giving you uh, uh, the four thickness options. so you can see over here there are four thickness options so you can use any option and then you can write over here okay so you can use any um, a thickness but in uh, Jamboard there is a no such option okay and then the next tool that uh, 
Zoom whiteboard is uh, giving is the smart recognition tool. So you just select these three dots over here and then you can enable the smart recognition tool. And then if you want to uh, use uh, draw something, it gives you the option of uh, uh, drawing for different shapes. Okay, the next tool is the highlighter tool in zoom whiteboard. It is giving you four different type of uh, highlighter thickness option as well. So for example, I select this one and then I want to highlight, I can use it and then we have a uh, less thickness, you, you can use this as well. So there are different um, highlighter options available. So uh, the eraser tool in the zoom whiteboard is pretty fast as compared to the, uh, the uh, Google Jamboard because that one is little slow. For example, if I write something here I will show you so I write something here and I try to erase it so you can see over here it will take time to erase the complete handwriting okay so but in um, as zoom whiteboard it is a pretty fast so guys that's all for now so in my opinion google jamboard is giving a uh, more option in terms of tool as compared to a zoom whiteboard uh, so please tell me which one you like so please uh, like my video and please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much